Let me go over the buttons here for you first. You can see that it's paused right now. The power button is flashing. To start the pump, you simply hit the start button, and this will start the scheduled runtime modes. And you also have three speed buttons here, and these speed buttons will override any preset program scheduled runtime and RPM. So you have speed 1 here, which is set at 1350 RPMs. Speed 2 is set at 1725 RPMs. And speed 3 is set at 2760 RPMs. And I'll show you how to change the speed buttons here. You also have a clean button here, and the clean button will run the pump for 30 minutes at the full 3450 RPMs. And the Neptune VS motor is shipped with some pre-programmed run times and speeds for you. The first one is set at 8 a.m. and runs for 2 hours at 3450 RPMs. Another program will activate at 10 a.m. and run for 10 hours at 1400 RPMs. And then the third program will run at 8 p.m. for 2 hours at 2200 RPMs. But I'm going to show you how to set your own program run times and schedules in here. And these two arrows are the scroll buttons. They're also the standard settings in this arrow. And this arrow has the custom settings. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is hit menu and enter. And you can see you're in the standard settings here. Okay, the first thing you want to do is hit the menu enter button. And we're going to set the clock. So now you can see the time on the clock is blinking. So let's go ahead and set the clock. Hit enter after you have set the time there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the arrow up for the minutes. And it is AM. You can scroll between AM and PM here. Hit enter. Okay, next after time you have 24 hours military time or the standard time. I'm going to keep it at the standard. Priming duration is 3 minutes and you can of course lower this down. And I like to prime it a little less. And then you have the priming speed and I also like to prime it at a lower speed. And the enter button is also the select button, as you're noticing here. I'm going to prime it at 2400 RPMs. Temperature, Fahrenheit or Celsius. I like Fahrenheit. You can change it with that button there. Low temp monitor. We don't really have freezing temperatures here, so it's disabled, but you can enable that. And it's set to come on at 37 degrees. So when the temperature gets low enough, the pump will activate. To prevent any kind of freeze damage. And right now it's disabled. And then remote control, if you have it connected to an automated system, you would enable this. Right now it's disabled. And you can reset everything here. So to get into the custom menus to set your own schedule and run speeds, go ahead and hit menu. And then you see the arrow keys here. Go ahead and hit this one here. And now you're in custom menu. Go ahead and hit the enter button. So I mentioned the first program is preset at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is actually a pretty good start time, but I'm going to start the pump a little bit later. I'm going to have it start at 9 a.m. And then it's going to run for two hours, and again, that's the factory setting, but I'm going to run it a little bit longer here. This program is set to run from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The reason why you have a rail speed pump is to save energy. I'm going to lower this down. I like running the first speed at about 2400 RPMs. And the longer you hold the button, the quicker it moves through the speeds here. And then for the time 2, I'm going to have it come on at 3. And I'm going to have this run for about 4 hours. So this will be a higher speed setting, so I'm going to run it at 2800 RPMs. And if you have an automatic cleaner, this will get it moving pretty well in the pool. And for timer 3, I actually just like having two times running for my pumps. You can set up to seven different programmable times here, but two run times is usually sufficient. So what I'm going to do with this time 3 is I'm going to go ahead and zero it out. So for the run duration, I'm going to go ahead and put 0. And then you have time 4, time 5, time 6, and time 7. And all these can be programmed to your liking. But again, I just like running two different speeds with my VS pumps. When you're done, go ahead and hit the start stop button. And if you wanted to get back into the standard menu for any reason, go ahead and hit this here. That gets you back into the standard setting. 
and this will get you back into the custom settings to change the menu, run speed and schedule times. And just remember when the power button is flashing, it's not going to run in the schedule modes. So you want to make sure you hit start. And now the pump should turn on and run as scheduled program times. And if you wanted to change the speed of these buttons here, let's say for instance you wanted to change the speed of speed 2, go ahead and activate it by pushing the button. And to increase the speed of the preset speed buttons 1, 2, and 3, with the pump running, let it prime up, and after it primes up, simply hit the arrow up or down, and this will increase the preset RPM or speed of each of these speed buttons. And as the pump is running, it'll display which pool timer schedule is running, the time remaining in that schedule, also the watts consumed, the current time, and also the speed of the pump or RPMs. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.